Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're going to show you how we created a colourful home vibe on this MCM chest of drawers. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Hey guys, I'm Laura from Cherubs Chalks Interiors. Welcome to our channel where today I'm going to be showing you my latest project. This piece behind me has been updated with a vibrant silk mineral paint colour and one of the new bells and whistles transfers to give it a gorgeous floral garden vibe. Stay tuned to see the process behind this look. So here is the before. As you can see, this is a piece that is in great condition and has been really looked after from the previous owners. But this dark varnish look is no longer sought after and I think that a nice colourful floral vibe will suit it perfectly. So as with all of my projects, I always start off by giving it a really good clean. Even if it appears clean to begin with, you don't know what type of furniture, varnishes and residue this may have on it. So to start, I go on with some white lightning. This is a tough degreaser by Dixie Bell. I mix the granules with water and then I give the piece a really good scrub. Then it's time to rinse with some plain water. I always just give a quick mist over with my water bottle. This will remove any of the residue from the white lightning as any residue that's left over will prevent the paint from sticking later on. Once it's all clean and dry, it's time to give it a light scuff sand. I use my electric sander, but you can just do this by hand. I use a 120 grit just to give it a light scuff all over. Then I come back with my plain water and just give it another wipe down just to remove any of that sanding dust. I'm using one of the silk colours and this one is called Everglades, which is a gorgeous vibrant green. I'm going to pour this into my roller tray and then I'm going to roller this on for a nice smooth finish. Making sure that I get coverage in all of those details and then I'm going to roll in long smooth strokes over the flat surfaces. Silk paint has a built in primer so I just need to go straight on with the paint and I'm going to apply two coats for full coverage. I'll leave that to dry overnight and then it's time to apply the florals. Today I've opted for the Pink Pampas and Dried Wells transfer as I think that the colours in this design will pair perfectly with the green. The first step is to cut out all of the different sections. These transfers can be built however you like, which makes every design unique. So I'm going to start off with a large pink pampas grass design. I'm going to place it into position and then give it a light rubbing over to keep it in place. Notice how smoothly these transfers go around the edges of the drawers. I work from section to section, working on this flat piece first and then going around the edges of the drawers, cutting along the edges with a standing knife and then moving on to the next section. Making sure that I'm burnishing all of the transfer with my wooden transfer tool before removing the clear layer. It's best to work slowly and make sure that all of the transfer has adhered to the furniture before removing this. If you notice that some of the transfer is still sticking to the clear transfer sheet, then just place it back into position and burnish a little bit more. Now I'm going to match up the next section of the transfer sheet and then repeat the process. Now it's time to start building up the design by adding extra florals, using the same process throughout. Now we are going to seal that transfer in to protect it using some satin clear coat and my blue sponge. I'm simply going to dip my sponge into my satin clear coat and then wipe it all over, making sure to finish with long smooth strokes to ensure that we achieve a clear streak free finish. Finally, I'm going to refinish these handles. That dark shiny varnish is not appealing so I'm going to sand it all off and then I'm going to seal again with some satin clear coat. Then it's time to reattach those handles and now this piece is finished. I have to say I am so pleased with this transformation. That gorgeous green and those florals are perfect together.
Please let me know in the comments what you thought to this latest makeover and our step-by-step -step tutorial. If you've liked what you've seen, then you can subscribe to our channel for notifications when we post our next video. And if you'd like to see more of our work, you can follow us on all of the social media platforms at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. Thank you so much for watching our video today and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye for now.